I love that term, addicted to petroleum. You know, it kind of makes sense if you look at our history of petroleum. It's a lot like drug use, you know. If there was ever a Gasaholics Anonymous meeting, every story would be the same. It's like, oh, I'm an American, I'm a Gasaholic. <laughs> How did it start? Oh, I don't know, I guess it began a long time ago when I started burning wood. <laughs> For heat, really, you know. Everyone was doing it, you could grow it yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I had no idea it would be a gateway fuel to the harder stuff. <laughs> then I got a hold of coal, which was a wood concentrate, you know. You couldn't grow it. You had to get your coal rocks from a dealer, but man. <laughs> Once you flamed a coal rock, there was no going back to wood. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> then I got a hold of oil, which is a liquid coal that had to be freebased with a refinery into <laughs> this golden serum called gasoline. <laughs> I just used a little at first to get me going where I needed to go, you know. Before I knew it, I had a dealer on every street corner who would hook me up when I ran out. <laughs> then one day I woke up, my dealer had become president. No way! Yeah! Yeah, then the party started. We were pipelining it from here to there, getting the good foreign stuff, you know. Everything was cool till they tried to cut off my supply and I frickin' snapped. I was like, whoa, 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 step away from my stuff. <laughs> oh, you can say hello to my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I knew I had a problem. So they got me on this 10% ethanol program right now. <laughs> 10 years, I'm supposed to be clean and solar. <laughs> All right, well, you've been wonderful. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate that. Thank you.